Hello guys, this is your reading for July 15th through the 31st. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, comment. Let's see. What's going on around my Gemini for the remainder of the month? Nine of Cups. Taurus got this same card. <clears throat> Nine of Cups is all about having your wishes fulfilled, but also doing what's best for you. Could definitely be a, a, a Pisces individual that is significant for some of you. What's crossing my Gemini's here? Ooh, the star. Huh. Again, this is a major, major thing that's happening for you guys right now. There's something that you are realizing and, and whatever it is that you feel like you want is something that's bigger than you. This is something that's bigger than you. Um, it's always been present, but I feel like a lot of you guys are basically getting in touch with your intuition. Um, and you're kind of aligning yourself with your destiny at this point. It's what you're doing. Major, major, major. There's something I feel like before you weren't willing to see. Um, but I feel like the things are being lined up so you are almost forced to see it. You feel it? But I don't think that you are quite sold on it yet. Okay? Aquarius energy here. What is the underlying issue for my Geminis? Seven of Swords. Now, either this person has done something that you feel like is deceitful, hurtful, um, walked out on you, left you, or this is something that you feel like you have done that could possibly get in the way of you having what you want. Okay. But there's definitely um, an act here that is basically influencing um, this situation right now. Something that was done before. Whether somebody did it to you or you feel like you did it to them. Whether they lied to you, cheated on you, betrayed you, or vice versa. Okay. That is what is kind of getting in the way right now not being able to move past it not being able to get over it or feeling like the other person is not able to move past or get it get over it let's see in the recent past the Empress mm. Taurus energy maybe there is a Taurus Libra Aries individual for some of you um, that you know you, you kind of you know that this person is significant you know that this person is a good person but more so than that I feel like you guys are you know that this person is for you you feel like this person is for you but you're not allowing yourself to totally um, get enmeshed in that. You feel like this person has turned their back too. Like they've moved on. They've started over. Um, that they're doing well by themselves. Let's see Gemini's crowning thoughts. The Six of Pentacles. Having equal give and take. You know, since these are your crowning thoughts, now granted, this story can be vice versa, but since I'm reading for Gemini, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak on it like it's from your perspective. Now if it's vice versa, it's vice versa, guys, but you know that. So what I'm seeing here is that In your crowning thoughts, either you 
were giving to someone else, that your attention was not solely on this person, um, and it could it could have been giving to something else, um, wrapped up in your job or wrapped up in your friends, wrapped up in other situations, other than this person <coughs> or either you feel like this person was giving to someone else they weren't giving you their all but regardless you was on your mind is a fact that you want an equal give and take in a relationship you want whatever time you invest into something, you want the other person to do the same. So I'm getting that it's like you know what it is that you want and what it is that you need to do in a relationship and you want the same from the other person. What's coming in for my Gemini's? What's coming in for my Gemini's? Ace of Cups new love new love it could be the same person but this is a new opportunity this is a reinvention this is is new it's new it's healing a chance to start over will you take it because I see you're in a mode where you are really wanting to protect yourself. But I definitely see healing coming in. We have the Queen of Pentacles that flipped out here. We have a Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles for me is like the minor for the Empress. We have a new opportunity here presenting itself. I feel like this person is healed. If you feel like this person is holding a grudge, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this is an ideal situation at this point. If you were questioning it. I feel like this person is definitely a part of your destiny. Definitely. How is Gemini viewing this situation? seven of wands very defensive very defensive I feel like you know beyond a shadow of a doubt you want to be successful you want to be victorious um, you want to protect your confidence you want to protect what's yours but what I'm getting is that you're holding back a lot you're contemplating a lot you're contemplating before taking action here. Contemplating before you uh, initiate a new start. What is the influence here for Gemini? Devil. Could definitely be a Capricorn or individual. Somebody that you feel very drawn and, and, and attached and attracted to. Um, but I feel like you guys are probably overworking. There's something that you're overdoing. You're overthinking. Um, and this relationship probably was very toxic for you when you were in it. And that's kind of what you're like thinking about. You're very defensive and kind of, you know, standoffish <clears throat> because it's definitely not a situation that you want to revisit, um, a situation that was very toxic for you. Mm -mm. Maybe a lot of codependency here. Uh, could have been financial codependency, <clears throat> emotional codependency. Let's see your hopes or fears. Judgment. Making the wrong decision. You fear making the wrong decision. Or you've made the wrong decision. 
maybe this is you that feels like you hurt somebody truly bad like very bad and not really knowing if this person is is going to be open to revisiting the situation whether they will offer their love to you once more but you're also hoping that it can rise from the ashes because I feel like it was it was gone it was dead both of you um, but I see this person's been sad though they've been sad I feel like they've gone through this healing process you as well and I think you're taking accountability at this point for some things I'm feeling what is the overall for Gemini Look at that. <laughs> Riding off into the sunset. Being successful. Moving forward. And I feel like this is together. This is together with the person that you're thinking about here. Doing the right thing for you. And for the other person involved. definitely that's beautiful anyway we have Taurus Cancer Scorpio um, Leo energy I feel Capricorn Aquarius is, is strong Aquarius is strong um, Taurus is strong here but it could definitely be any sign at any given point we can exhibit um, any any kind of emotion any kind of action um, thought process so it's not limited to those signs guys alright so I'll be speaking with you guys soon